Know the difference with Annex Wealth Management, joined by Tom Parks, Director of Retirement Plan Services, Annex Wealth Management. Welcome back, Tom. Hello, Danny. Also joining us, Tom Burkholz, CFP and Financial Planning Specialist, Annex Wealth Management. Hey, Tom. Hi there. By the way, you are representing Millennial Generation. Is that all right? Yep. Double Tom. So I'm just start with each guy's names if I got a question for you like this one. Tom Parks. Here's the headline that caught my eye. Six in 10 millennials consider cashing out of retirement plans in large market downturn. For a guy focused on retirement plans, that's got to send a shiver down your spine. Danny, the word that comes to mind is one I hear from my, my high school age kids, cringeworthy. Cringeworthy. Yes. Tom Burkholz, I highly doubt that is you, but you are the representative millennial. So what's going on? Yeah, well, for one, we know about half of millennials live paycheck to paycheck. So as we experience these market downturns, there's more layoffs and more millennials finding themselves taking money out of their 401k, in my opinion, out of necessity. Um, And I also think there's some temptation when there's that smaller 401k balance to just say, you know, it's only $5,000. I'm just going to take it out, cash it out. But they don't really think of the time value of money that by the age they retire, that's going to be worth a lot more. It's not that they're worried about the future, do you think? Do they think that the world is coming to an end or anything? I do think with millennials, they tend to be more pessimistic yeah. about the state of things and, and the future of our planet and whatnot. So that could play part of it as well. Okay. Tom Parks, good sample in this survey. Size of over 4,000, everybody's 18 and older, contributing at least 1% to a current plan and or having $5,000 in at least one former plan. But 60% considering cashing out with this market downturn, I know the answer, I think, but what's the long-term potential impact of cashing out? Yeah, well, Mr. Burkholz kind of alluded to this with the time value of money. And when I look at this, you know, you think of millennials cashing out without regard to the market performance, generally not going to be a good idea when we're talking about a retirement plan account, generally speaking. So the long-term impact on the ability to grow is obviously going to be diminished with actions like this. Tom Burkholz, I saw somewhere that this might be because millennials haven't seen something quite like this before. Mm-hmm. Maybe you saw the 08, 09 recession as kids. You're in the biz, but you got a historical perspective. But is this just totally unexpected? No, I mean, in fact, it should be totally expected. We know that on average, bear markets happen about every one in seven years. So they're a common thing. And if you listen to Warren Buffett's advice, it's pretty simple. You, you want to buy low and sell high. And I just view recessions and pullbacks like this as an opportunity to buy low and accumulate more shares and really just participate in the upside from here. If not a retirement plan, where's that money going? Nearly half of millennials are extremely interested in investing in ESG. More planned participants also jumping into digital assets such as cryptocurrencies. In fact, millennials lead the way in the category with 61% investing in crypto. Yeah, Danny, this is an interesting aspect of this. So when we talk about, Mr. Bergholz again said, this opportunity with the market being where it is. Now, do we know if the market is going to go down further before we hope eventually it's going to go up? We do generally think of market downturns as opportunities for buying. When you start looking at ESG, there are very specific fiduciary considerations that need to be taken into impact with retirement plans in particular that makes that an interesting concept. But when we look at cryptocurrency, lots of different opinions when it comes to cryptocurrency. What I would say is if you're looking at a retirement account, you want to really question, is that the appropriate vehicle for cryptocurrency speculation? Yeah. And another thing I'll mention is I actually just saw some research that millennials who are buying crypto on average, tend to have more debt than their peers. So are we seeing this lottery ticket phenomenon where just like people who buy lottery tickets often out of need, are we seeing millennials who are buying crypto, it's more out of need that they just want to hit it big so they can start paying off their loans and things like that. The other thing, Danny, that I forgot to mention is we do have a What's That video on ESG for those of you who are listening, kind of wondering what we're talking about there. So check out our YouTube channel for that. You know, I got to plug those things. Very, very nice. This is probably a huge opportunity for companies to educate their employees of staying in and staying hanging with the market, right? Absolutely. I think it is difficult when you're looking at what's going on. These times we try to prepare people for saying market turbulence does happen. It's one thing to talk about it theoretically. It's obviously an entirely different thing to experience it in real life, which is what's happening now. The opportunity for education is an ongoing one. 
It is acute right now, though, I would say. So we're doing a lot of messaging with our 401k clients in particular because people are understandably concerned. And a lot of times what we find is just if you have a communication, you talk to people, you let them know you're there, it really goes a long way to, to helping stabilize their, their emotions. Yeah, for sure. Tom Burkholz representing Millennial Nation. Do you believe six and 10 millennials are thinking about doing this? I personally do not consider it. My friends and my family that I've talked to have not, but I would imagine because we know millennials do really live paycheck to paycheck, many of them. So I think a lot of necessity are. For investment, retirement planning, tax planning, and estate planning, we do it as a fee-only fiduciary. Know the difference. Website, AnnexWealth.com. Click the Get Started button. Start that wealth metric process. Tom Burkholz, CFP, financial planning specialist. Thank you. My pleasure. Tom Parks, Director of Retirement Plan Services. Thank you. Look forward to coming back, Danny. Thanks.